What's going on guys? It's Chris with Eddie's Speed Garage and today we're going to be working on a 19 Chevy Equinox. It's got the ESC light on, track control, and the engine light. The customer says it is running rough. It's not stalling but it's it's shaking. You can see right now maybe RPM's jumping a little bit so I'm suspect suspecting a misfire. We're gonna go in and check out some codes, see what's going on. Just get automatic search, yes. our car hit yes since I'm suspecting a misfire I'm just gonna go system selection it's a little faster the other codes are probably on because of the misfire it's usually tag along codes so system selection we'll go engine control module uh, we got what engine do we have in this it's the 1.5 liter we're gonna hit 1.5, it's an automatic transmission. So now we can click read fault code there. DTC display. So we got a P0300 engine misfire detected. So it's not showing us what cylinder exactly is misfiring so we can go back out and we can let's go read data stream so we can look at the misfire data and it'll show us what cylinder is actually screwing up so we just want to go misfire data right here P0300 is just a general misfire code. It doesn't doesn't explain which one. You could have a P0301234567878. Depending on how many cylinders are in the vehicle. So we're gonna select these PIDs here. Current misfire, history misfire, current is actually not that one there. Um, so just the current and the, the history misfire counters. Cylinder 2 current misfire, Cylinder 2 history misfire, and so on. We'll click OK. It's going to graph what misfires are going on. So it looks like we got misfires in all of them. Looks like our current misfire that's acting up is Cylinder number 4. You can see the history for that's 3,500, or uh, 36,000, 23 misfires since the cycle's been going on. And the other ones are history, so they got a couple misfires as well, but none of them are current. That misfire is probably causing the other misfires. It's making the engine run off balance. So we're gonna take out the coils remove the engine cover, take out the coils, look at the spark plugs and see what's going on. All right guys, so we pulled the spark plug out here and checked out the coil for cylinder number four. And as, as you can see, everything looks normal until you turn it upside down. You see that the porcelain piece inside the spark plug is actually come loose. So that's causing causing the cylinder to misfire. See if you can see that. Try and focus in on it. See, yeah, I, I can move that, that piece of porcelain there. So we're probably gonna end up replacing just all four. It's pretty common failure on these. I would show you the repair process, but I am playing the flat rate game and trying to do things quickly, so. All right, YouTube, so we got the four spark plugs put in 
it's a it's a real simple process on this car it's just a inline four with a coil over plug so it's real simple to do you can see we still got our check engine light on so i'm going to show you how to clear that out with the zr pro and we're going to check the misfire data again just to show you that it's actually gone so we'll go into diagnose chevrolet hit okay let it do its thing so we can hit automatic search yes jump through the hoops so now we just want to clear the codes in the engine module so we're going to do system selection again go engine control module we have the one five automatic so if we want to clear codes we're gonna first let's shut the car off and put it back in service mode just gotta hold the uh there it goes green light I hate those chimes, but yeah, green light means it's in service mode. So we can go ahead and clear the codes. Engine off, ignition on. So we'll just hit clear fault code. We'll hit yes. So there we go, engine light is cleared. Now we'll just cycle the ignition and turn it off. I like to open the door real quick, close it. Then we'll start her back up. As you can already see, no engine light. So that's a good sign. But yeah, just to just to show you, we can go back into the data stream. We will find Misfire data there. And we'll just select all our PIDs again. So, cylinder one current misfire, cylinder one history misfire, cylinder two, there's cylinder two, cylinder three, and cylinder four, and then we'll hit okay. So there you go, now we have cylinder one right here, zero misfires, they're all showing zero. So you could take this on a test drive, mount this up and just, just watch everything and you'll, you'll see that there's no misfires or there is misfires while you're driving it. That's pretty much a smoking gun though, that spark plug's falling apart so gotta replace that. There's a bulletin out right now, actually, so just because it was the one one spark plug, we replace all four because it was probably just a bad bad batch of them from the factory, so we replace those, and as you can see, we're good to go. Engine's running smooth, no more stuttering or anything like that. I'm going to go test drive it just to double check and make sure everything's good to go, and then we'll get it back to the customer. All right, YouTube, so we're back on the Equinox. Just went for a test drive, everything's normal. I watched the uh, misfire data and everything came back fine, zero misfires. So yeah, there's another video on the ZR Pro and how I can help you diagnose a misfire. Um, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, do you want more of these videos or have any ideas for a video that you wanna see? Let us know down in the comments below. Thank you.